Hello there, in this video we are going to discuss about how to configure a virtual machine on VMware Workstation. Before I start, I must thank VMware for providing us the academic license and it's really helpful to uh, utilize it for the educational purpose. So let's get started. Uh, in this particular video, I will be discussing about creating the virtual machine on it. So to create a virtual machine, what you can do is you can go to file menu and then you can click on new virtual machine. Once you click on new virtual machine, it will open up a wizard for you and giving two options. One is a typical uh, configuration which you can start with or the second option which you can use is the custom option. So uh, custom is always recommended for those people who have some technical knowledge about the system configuration, very, very specific system configurations, right? So what uh, I'm going to walk you through is in step one, I'm going to take the typical setting first. So once I uh, go for the recommended one and click next, it is going to ask you about that give uh, the source from where the guest operating system is supposed to be installed. So regarding this, uh, I have an ISO with me, right? If you have a physical DVD, you can you know, use this option. And because my system doesn't have a DVD drive connected to it, it it's been disabled and i only have iso with me so what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm going to uh, take you to a physical drive so uh, on my system hard drive i have uh, uh, my ubuntu 14.0 4.4 desktop iso image uh, on f drive and then cd image is the folder so i go and copy it directly here and then i try to browse it and you see this is what I need to choose. One of the interesting feature of VMware is that it can detect what operating system you wanted to install. Right, so if, if, even if it is not able to, then it gives you an option to choose. So right now it, have all, it has already detected. So I just simply go and click on next. Next, what it asks me is uh, the user information for Linux system. So what I do is I just simply type <coughs> an opender thing as a full name and open there as a user and demo as a password and again in confirm password I'm putting demo so once I click next it asks me about the name of the virtual machine where it is going to store it is going to store in this particular path the path is specific to the user system right if you want to change you can browse and you can browse to a particular folder where you want to put that virtual machine now when I click on next after this, it asks me about specify a disk capacity. Now this disk capacity is that you're specifying a virtual hard drive, right? So by default, Ubuntu system requires 20 GB as per the VMware uh, workstations understanding. If you want to increase or decrease, you can do that. I am putting it th uh, 15 GB, right? Now because this disk is going to get stored in path which has been in C drive and then the the option which I get is single file and mul uh, multiple file now if I take single file single file uh, the whole disk is uh, going to be kept in a single VMDK file right and whereas if I talk about uh, the multiple files so as as I do the installation the multiple files are going to create it in a chunk of 1 GB to 2 GB right so it, it uh, depends that how how you wanted to put them why we use these options generally when we are actually hosting this in cl cloud environment then uh, moving the virtual machine to one from one physical machine to another physical machine it, it becomes very easy on the network so that's why they have given this particular option once i click next it takes me to uh, the final window where it says okay ready to create virtual machine and it gives me the name it gives me the, it gives me the location what version of workstation i'm using and then what is hard disk uh, configuration then what is the memory i'm going to use what is the network adapter i'm going to use so so most of the things are being you know done automatically for you at the background if you wanted to customize these you can customize them by clicking on this custom hard uh, customize hardware if you see it says 1 gb i wanted to make it 4 gb i can do that i have a maximum of 16 gb available on my system then processor you can change the processor settings also you want to give them two processors with two cores and so on right you wanted to virtualize the vtx or amd v uh, thing and you have you want to do a virtual cpu performance counters disable acceleration for the binary 
translation and everything so all those things can be done and these are specific to these to the certain guests operating system then there is a cd uh, which has been mapped there is a network which you have and there are two other options which you can do bridge and uh, host only or in case if you want to specify a certain uh, specific uh, virtual net which you have configured you can do that right you have a uh, usb controller you have sound card you have printer and all that stuff right so if you wanted to add more into this so it asks you about that and then you can add more devices to this particular virtual machine and so on right so that you can play on your own so as i've changed uh, the ram from 4 uh, 1 gb to 4 gb once i close it and i click on finish what it is going to do is it is going to power on my virtual machine because uh, power on virtual machine option was checked at the start at, at the final window so once you do that you're going to see the installation has been started so it says easy install is installing the ubuntu 64 bit so as we already know we have mentioned the username and password so this is what they are saying so click in the virtual screen uh, virtual screen to send keystrokes so if i click on this uh, internal uh, window i can do like a normal host machine i can do all the actions like that so if you see the installation process has already been started so if i expand it you will be able to see what is been happening here so i just close this okay so it takes almost around uh, five to ten minutes depending upon your system configurations if i show you the usage this is what is the usage uh, which you are going to see all right so cpu is somewhere around uh, 47 memory is also utilizing and then if i show you there are certain you know gpus which are being used and uh, because i'm not connected to internet right now that's why it's not doing desk activity this is what it is so showing me right so all these things uh, are going to work so as as more installation process is happening the more ram uh, is being utilized so it takes a while to install let me uh, make it fast forward for you So the installation process has been done and the specific restart or reboot the first reboot has happened all right so the installation has been done let's uh, log into the system and uh, the password which we put was demo once we log in it is going to take some time for the initial uh, setup and dun -dun -dun, we got our virtual machine up and running here it tells us certain keyboard shortcuts and everything is running fine so if I show you there's a terminal right and if I say ls it is working and it's all happening inside where inside a VMware workstation so this is how you can actually go and uh, you know, install your own virtual machine on a VMware workstation. The only minimum requirement which I believe you must have in your system is uh, a minimum 4 GB of RAM where you can provision 1 or 2 GB of RAM to the virtual machine to run uh, an operating system within a virtual environment. So with that, I think I, we can stop uh, f uh, for this particular session. In the next session, I will be discussing about the custom uh, installation processes and uh, then we can uh, you know also further talk about what are the different options which we can have from all these uh, menus if you like this screencast do not forget to click on thumbs up button just below the video and subscribe to our channel so that latest updates can be notified to you by the youtube itself whenever we upload new videos to it thanks for watching goodbye